Jay here with Laguna Tools and a quick DP20 tech tip for you. And this is uh, for drilling steel. When you're drilling steel, there's some different considerations than if you're drilling woods or plastics. In fact, every material has got its own considerations. One of the biggest things is to go through and refer to the drill speed chart either on the side of the drill press in the owner's manual or in a machinist guide or the black book that uh, will give you that information. Get the right bit for the material that you're using, the right speed. In this case right here, I've got this drill bit set for 3,000 RPM. You want to have proper lubrication, drilling and tapping fluid, cutting oil, things like that to, uh, to go through and drill the material. Some materials will use different oils. There's some that is for aluminum. In some cases, you can use WD-40. Make sure you select a good uh, cutting oil or drilling oil for the type of work you're doing. Right now, I've got this block of steel. We're gonna go through and drill it with a pilot drill, and then I'll step up to a larger drill bit and drill a larger hole. I've got a center punch already set here, and that'll help to keep the bit from wandering. That's always good uh, planning there for doing steel. I'll check the positioning here with the laser. I'm right on where my center punch is. Let's go ahead and get some oil on it and get to drilling. Don't forget to put on your safety glasses. These chips can get embedded in your eye if you're not careful. And it also can swing uh, chips and shavings out from the bit, especially at higher speeds. Okay, now that I've got that drill with the pilot hole, I'm gonna wipe the chips off, I'm gonna change the bit. One quick tip when you're uh, setting drill bits in, especially for metal, is uh, we use a keyed chuck so you can get more clamping power. A lot of machinists swear by uh, tightening all three holes. Though. So they'll tighten on this side here, they'll turn the chuck uh, to all three holes and tighten each, especially with larger bits or tougher materials. It just gives you a little bit more clamping force. All right, I've got my larger bit in here. The first bit was a 3 16 bit. I've got a 3 8 bit in the drill press right now. I wanna change a few things. The first thing I wanna change is my speed that matches this bit. In this case, the chart tells me to run 1,000 RPM on this bit in steel. So I've got that set for 1,000. The next thing I wanna set is I wanna set my depth setting over here. We were doing a half inch deep hole. It's a blind hole, so I'll loosen this because the length of the bit is different. I'll go back and reset this for a half inch. So now I'm zeroed out uh, with the bit. I've got half inch here. I'm not using the uh, digital on this. I'm just using the manual scale. Now finally, I'll use some lubrication. I'll go ahead and drop some oil in it, actually fill up that hole and run a little on the outside. Now we're ready to drill. Let's go ahead and fire it up and drill the hole. great. This gives you an idea of uh, just what to expect when you're drilling uh, into steel. Uh, again, refer to the feeds and speeds chart there. You can refer to the one in the manual. Make sure you're using the cutting oil. If you have any other questions on any other types of operations, go to our website at lagunatools.com. Look up the DP20 Tech Tips.